What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States. So to run off where we left off, um, some Mughal fo some Maratha forces had actually attacked us on a bridge. So that's a nice opportunity to draw in some of their forces to massacre crossing the river. So let's crack on. They've attacked us, so we're on the top. I hope that means it's a river battle. Sometimes the game can be a bit cagey. Um, it should be, I mean... If it isn't a river battle, then I don't know what the hell's going on. Their forces outside of walls. Good. So here's one ford and here's another ford. So let's put two units of guns like so. We can't guarantee. We can't guarantee which one they're going to go for. So I'm just going to hedge my bets. Turn father rank off. Drop a howitz team on each because their job is going to be absolutely blanket the area with quick lime. Let's put two marines and four line infantry units on this flank. The remainder plus the rangers on that flank, on that bridge, ford, and then on this ford. The cavalry and the general can just chill out. So we are against. going to go. I want to leave a decent alleyway for my cannons to be able to fire a shrapnel shot. So I'm forming it a bit of a looser box than I normally would. I rely on the firing marks to get to avoid good damage. Okay, looks like actually we will really f you can't target their guns. So let's unlimber you. I mean, you can. You can, pretty safely. So I'm going to unlimber these guns and redirect them over here. I mean, same with you, really. I could cross the river, but I don't want to. I want to... Uh, I want to catch them in the gigantic crossfire as they try to cross. Okay, this cavalry is moving up, so it's going to be quick. Let's put my guns on shoreline. Can we now just drop a quick climb on them? We can just. This set this set up um, how it says just to keep dropping foot to keep dropping quick climb onto the onto the onto the crossing. Same with you, just keep dropping it. Their guns are routed. So you chaps, trap and sharp. Do you nice just no no you can you can specifically target. Although I did just waste your volley. Got a river crossing over here. So who are these guys? Ah, oh, the skirmish cavalry, are they? That's a whole lot of guns that can fire onto them. Come on, 24 pounders. Well, 
break it. Got another river crossing. I'll put one of you like that. Bunch of lances. So also the other trick forward both rivers. Says. Another river crossing on the other ford. Think they're about to fire. They already fired. Well, on the other flank, can you guys switch to shrapnel shot? You guys on Nimbus stay on round shot. So let's make this out so actually drop them slightly short. Like Shots come in and blend them away. Lots of dead horses in the river. Let's go after the camels. On this flank, oh, it's actually a unit of infantry coming in. Poor souls, the 118th Dakiri. Over. Kill the general off of his elephants on the other flank in the other river crossing. Got some quick land kills. They're unsure about whether they want to cross. firing on the elephants. Oh, you're just out of range. Not for my cannons, you guys aren't. Okay, now they're going to try and actually cross the river. Poor souls. The river will run, run red with Maratha blood. Is it cavalry crossing the other flank? It is. It's a bunch of lances. These elephants have been destroyed. Here's the main effort though. Come back. Falling back in quick succession. Hindu musketeers are, are unsure about what they want to do. Watching their brother in fall back, the 118th. Cavalry have fallen back. Target is mercenaries. It's a nice block of troops. A quick line shot came in now. Oh, they're reloading. Oh, musketry will be enough to force them to retreat. Solid mass of men. Nope. Oh, a bunch of them died from the 
Crossing with more cavalry. No, the lances have been pushed back. Seems like cavalry is pressing one, bri one crossing and the infantry is pressing the other. Oh, there they come again. Should go for the year 120. Loaded horrifically. You can see all the bodies when you zoom out. When you zoom in, you can see it. When you zoom out, you can see what's left of them. Look at you all, just shake. Dervishes need to close the distance and make it into to my lines to have a chance of surviving, or at least a chance to do some damage. I fear they will not. Now oh, an opportunity. Oh, still wavering. They should be gone by now. Fragments continue to cross the bridge. Let's check the other guns to make sure they're shooting actual targets. The Zemandari horsemen will be good enough. Actually, go for Bajir infantry. Yep, a quick line round. A quick line volley came in. There you go. This flank is completely capitulated. Well, the 
do have mortars actually on the other side of the field. They are coming in. It's very slowly. As there's so few armies back, so few units actually on the field at the minute. Whoa, you guys, what are you guys doing? Back you go. Good job that quick climb didn't absolutely massacre you. Last if I shot my shot. Let's see how well the 137th Hindu warriors. Oh no, they don't want to cross the ford after all. Where's my cow? Position it ready. I want it to charge across the bridge to kill the mortars. Although I might speed up a bit because then neither of them are actually walking towards the crossing. You can shot the cast shot. You guys are actually going to cross the river now. In which case then, let's get on to... Nope, I think the Bajir infantry are a bit bugged because they're just kind of doing this. Oh, quick climb shells coming in. Maybe they're over there. All my artillery. Send my cavalry over. Kill the mortars. Yeah, there goes the quick climb shells, but they've fallen. They've not gone. Well, no, they've not gone far enough to kill Marion's rangers. Chase down the mortars, absolutely. Where are you going? He, oh, there's seven of them. Okay, I'll go after the Barger infantry before they kill my general, which they might do. Charger, he's withstood the. F oh no, they were shooting at my cuirassiers. Extremely comprehensive, regardless of any final mopping up. I'd be surprised. 110. Well, it's almost twice as bad as I thought it was, but 110 for 3,600. That's a hell of a good swap. It's pushed out the garrison from Hindustan as well, although it's immediately been made back up. Yeah, raid, you're going to raid away. I mean, they're more than, more than happy to push on Persia if they want. I mean, I will send some some units after them. Which they might take as an acceptable trade. I mean, they're trying to send their religious people... No, they're educational people. Ooh. Auto resolve, see what happens. Hey, we won. <laughs> Ooh, these sneaky swines. Ah, oh, they've also hit Baluchistan. Zahidan. See what their radius of capture is like. Radius of capture? What the hell does that even mean? Heaton's been besieged, but not for long. Silas Allington is going to say, "That's enough of that." Undaunted, undefeated, make there ready, mark. So I do have. I mean, it's all the way up here. Sir. They are making their way towards these forces. They're not depleted, so they're all in good strength. Yes, sir. So let's keep Jude within spitting mark. distance. First thing I want to do is go over here. And 
So let's take. No, oh, no. Actually, yes, can I do this even smarter? Can I do you? Man. Put you here. Ready. Put you Forward. here. And take Norbert Jackson. And do I just hit them? No, that's a lot of troops. I want to. Oh, I want to yes. get those in a siege for sure. So let's pull you out this Ready. side of Calcutta. No, Browning. Men, take ready. Killian inside. Good. Although this area is now a bit vulnerable. Let's ready, move Clifford ready, Ashford forward. up to Cuttack. Humble servant. Sean Lincoln can move up forward. behind the rear. Mark. You, Norbert Jackson, can instead drive on. And kill Akan Maharaj. Yeah, that's just a little fragment, None effectively. Push them back. Men, forward. Clear the northern bank. Let's repair our stuff. Okay, good. That's Eli ready. Bell, put Your them under siege. Settlement under siege, sir. Goodwin Churnside, bring them up. Forward. Yes. Alongside Erwin Keats. Actually, Erwin Keats might stay here because it actually protects this entire western flank if they try to move in. I could intercept them. Ah, yes, I remember. Actually, these guys are a bit of a, are a bit tricky because actually lots of it's a reasonably sized stack there, yes, sir. all in. But we've got quite a good little army, so shall we hit them with Gareth Rackham? Oh no, we're engaging just this army here. Let's do it. Let's destroy. Elf. Because as it is, um, things are going rather well, as you would expect for a faction that owns the entire world. So I'm pretty sure that they don't have any artillery, so we want to make use of our advantage. Grenadier engineers and line it from shooting it on the flank. Grenadiers, garrison line, garrison guards, and light foot on the other flank. Okay, my heart is in the centre. Fine, quick climb. Gareth Rackham in the middle. Let's crack it. You guys can all fire some form of canister shot. Good old god alive, that would have been. All the quick limbs smashing into the centre. It, was, it ended up being poor form to put my light infantry to be that backstop unit. So my cuirassiers in. Support the garrison guards, the grenadiers, sorry. No, not garrison guards. Against the Sardar Lancers. My crossiers are perfect for this kind of combat when they're they just involved being in the combat, chopping through. Yeah, our light infantry have routed, which is to be expected. Come 
one run through, then we'll hit Pelagar Union on the flank, or maybe even this year instead. I mean, come on, you've bumped into them, but your orders. You've bumped into them, but I want them to engage them. So much cavalry should we there? Oh, Indian cavalry guards, sent everyone to swamp them. I don't care about that today. We've got men to spare. Let's take let's hit Polygar on the flank. Which look pretty neat. But So these like this curious air unit is just it just has to hold on. Some in some of the some of the oh, another elephant unit gone. So go after his undiary horseman. The guard might be got to a route, which would be incredibly useful. There you go. Send enough infantry to mob heavy cavalry. That's not a drama. unit of camels. Oh, the Islamic swordsmen fancy their chances. And then they immediately decide, you know what? Not worth it. So we're probably going to, we're probably losing some of our own men. But I don't think there's a need to chase them down either, because we've attacked them in a port. So that means it should just be an instant we we've destroyed them because they count as it's like being in a city. Yeah, and there we go. Good win. We've still got our gunners, although they are very weak. So let's replenish. This army's a bit out of commission, but at least Madras is secure. Kidoki. You're replenishing. Yes. To be honest, you could probably stand to engage. Animesh, Animesh, Chaturvedi. You may go hit Oidapur. Let's take another potential area that they can recruit units from. And actually, the garrison here, Ahmedabad, can go lay siege to to Ujain. Or just take it. It's a good forward outpost. Great Asaram, Great Ashram. It gives us good visibility on some of this dark space that we couldn't actually see before. Okay, so let's take an arm in Hor and f yes. send him up against. Animash Chaturvedi. Yeah, I don't know why it's giving him such good odds. But we're going to keep them to force them to entirely collapse. I think what thousands from the main. Okay. Ooh, that's quite a neat little spot. Ooh, this is a great little spot for guns if we can get them on here. Just the one set. Just the one set properly. So let's put the other three up 
above the infantry line. There we go. Let's just pull these guys onto a mighty line. The remnants of our elites can form up on the left and they'll advance through the trees. Not bad. Skirmishers, one of you. Oh, you can't actually get up on here either. Damn. You all sit at the base of the hill. I mean, there. Good. Lancers on the left. Actually, Lancers on the right. General in the centre. Let's get cracking. No special rounds for the artillery because there's no real need, although maybe more like this because here are the reinforcing, here's the reinforcing army coming in. Good job of putting cavalry on the right. Ooh, there artillery's having a go. All of you focus on their set of guns. Let's put my lances on the flank. You guys run into position. Pushed back, camels have been pushed back, Polygar uh, in. Form some squares to protect against the camel nomads. You know, we'll charge them into the back of the Polygar, but I think they're going to route. Oh no, they are coming back. Not with my lance, I'll stick a spike in their ass. Good, let's form a new line. Whoa, they charged our lights. These elephants are going to be a bit of a, a bit of a problem. So much so, I think much pull. Those garrison guards, your job is to stay alive. Hold the line and allow the rest of our forces an opportunity to escape. You're not even but limber. Engage that unit of dervishes and you can push this flank up. Lances will start to get bogged down because they're not charging, so I'm, I'm just going to let them have at it. With our unit of light foot infantry in here, we're going to quite quickly chop them down. Gun team has still survived. Absolute barrage against it. If I push switch to that, the trap the shot, I might just blast the crew in one go. So our elephant defence on the flank has routed. Let's get into 
shot plink at the general. To say they're winning. Well, not anymore, you know. <laughs> the expats have had their say. Let's be out of square. Let's form a new line. Pretty bad position for me, actually. One arm peasantry. You may have got the first shots off. We will get the last. The centre's breaking. Let's get the guns to number up. Perhaps a change of position. Yeah, there's no way the armed peasantry was going to stand up alone to that level of, to that level of fire. So it's just the elephants. They should have guards around to this flank. See what they can do. But there's a flotter unit, two units of elephants. So, new chaps, engage the desert warriors once you've reloaded. Stand out for very long because they're, they're irregulars, they aren't not actual infantry. The elephants have gone and we've killed the general. Let's just push up to our original position. Artillery crew. They've had their fill. Oh, we got one. Look at the broken. So he should get him. No, imagine to leg it. Push up aggressively. Seems like they don't want to commit their general. I don't think these guys are going to stand for very long. Just going to shoot their men in the back of the head. Oh no. <laughs> yep. God, he shot that guy in the front rank. You murderer. Okay, let's advance up to a fine position to engage the elephants. There we go. And then, general's dead. warriors. 
send my general off to Desert Warriors. Absolutely continue. I mean, I'll keep the artillery going for now. Go for the Hindu Warriors for them, actually, you know. Let's turn the artillery off. They're gonna flee. They are gonna flee. The general obviously has to chase the unit that runs the first away from everyone. They're going to flee. Yep, so now it's all cavalry against a single say all cavalry, all two units. Like you can do this to make them like run into the right position but it still doesn't seem to actually make them do that much damage. The pathfinding is just a bit, just a bit silly. Let them keep going. Whatever they do, they will do. And these guys are going to route successfully because of them. But that's okay. Got them down to 10 men. Damn right, it was a decisive victory. Use of war, unlimited money. Damn right. 500 lost for almost 3,000 Maratha troops. Onward! So I'll send humble servant. Sir. You want us to take them, Calvin Mannering. You might have to stay where you are actually in case they just zoop and take Ahmedabad. At the ready. I think that's a good idea. Yes. That'll probably like to move you north. Forward. Reinforce these positions, then take ready Nathaniel forward. Winthrop and hit Strider. this chap. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet more bashing the Indians into the ground on the Pakistani-Indian border-ish. Radio. Cheers for watching guys, thanks. Hope you've enjoyed.